Why is a marble statue of Eminem seeking freedom of movement? Because it is a marble statue, and marble statues don't usually have a lot of freedom of movement on their own. So it's logical that some of them will eventually seek out some type of freedom of movement. But before we can be witnesses of whether the marble Eminem succeeds or fails, we have to answer the question of what is freedom of movement on the ground, of course, because marble stitches are usually nested on the ground, so we're not talking about freedom of movement in the sky that's flying, of course, or freedom of movement in the ocean that's floating, of course, but what is freedom of movement on the ground? Let's dive in a little Ice skating is one of the most beautiful movements conducted by humans, because it is, in essence, floating. And floating is divine, godlike. Floating is the queen of all movements. Ice skating is just such a beautiful, fluid, continuous, perfect type of movement. But of course there is a problem. If you want to float on the ground, you need flat, almost perfect surface. Ice, concrete, galazatin marble, petlovian wood, ground lemekliak, ragav shahari, fluctosia bamboo, or for example the legendary perfectly flat ground of the eastern biome of Kraja Bleka Hus Blaka Pale. But I would love to float on this, on this mess of this grass and, and dirt and gravel and stones. So what if there were skates that would allow you to float on any surface? Skates that would give you the sense of freedom we know from flying. Complete freedom of movement. Just choose direction and go. What if there were skates with just two dimensional blades? This is a shoe. And if we attach three dimensional blades to it, let's say that this book represents the blade, then we have classical three dimensional ice skates. But if I make the blade just two dimensional, the blade is still there, you just don't see it because I'm pointing it right at you. You could slide through any surface, stone, dirt, wood, anything, and you will be able just to swell your way through the forest, over the grasslands, over the mountains, just sliding through the world. And now you must be asking, where can I buy one of those? Well, remember Gelazaten Marble from earlier? It turns out that the people from Gelazaten district have been actually ice skating long before anyone else did it. But Gelazaten people wanted even more freedom, so eventually they invented two-dimensional blades so they could move freely around the whole world. So if you want to buy a pair of 2D blades, you have to go to the Gelazaten district and to Gelazaten shop. Guess who's back, back again? Well, 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 what can I do for you? Cut the small talk, I need those to these skates. I want something that can cut them with a the bulk wrap of life, you know. Oh, believe me, these skates will have you slicing through disappointment like a chainsaw, getting a blunt force trauma. You better lose yourself in the music. The moment, my man. How they cut like a lyrical miracle. They sure can. Want to try them? I'm not afraid to take a stance. You got some nice selection. Right. Damn. Good, amazing. You got some nice selection. Give me more. Show me more. Good, amazing. I want these. Looking good. 
So the critics, I'm sick of them. Can I customize them skates with their faces? I want their judgments to crumble beneath my feet. Oh, sorry, Slim. We don't print faces on skates. Never mind, I'll take them. Here you go, Mr. Eminem. Success is my only motherfucking option. Failure's not. And remember, you only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow.